today about the subject of change and how change affects our lives, how we live with change really determines the kind of life we're going to have and the kind of ministry that we're going to have as God works the changes about in our lives that need to come. We know that uh, we certainly hadn't planned on the changes that are happening right now. We, we didn't know that this was going to be coming, but it came. And so even though it took us by surprise, it did not take God by surprise. He has a way for us to come through this. He has a way for us to shine our light in a world that's dark. Even though we can't be out in public and be in a social setting because we're, we're doing what our leaders have told us is the best thing to do so that this virus will end. And we're trying to do this to help others who might be very uh, compromised in their health. And so they, they're not able to sustain the kind of attacks that a younger generation might uh, might uh, be able to make it through. But anyway, we're doing it because we want to be kind to everyone. We want to uh, express to everyone that we're, we're considerate and we want them to know that, uh, that God has his hand on their lives. He's going to work a miracle if we'll let him work a miracle during this time of great challenge. Because I really miss you guys. I really want us to be together again as, as a family worshiping together. And the, the strength that's there and the unity of spirit is just really awesome. We love you. We thank God for our relationship. And so I wanted to just share a few scriptures about change today. And in Matthew chapter 18, <clears throat> verse 3, in verse 2 he says, He called a little child and had him stand among them. And he said, I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Change. Change. How we live with change will determine our lives and will determine our future ministry. As we think about that for just a moment. Whether it's planned by us or not, uh, we're all of us at times, and even right now some of us are in moments of transition. It may be you're growing up, you're moving from a child to an adolescent, uh, or maybe uh, there's children in, being added into your home currently. Maybe uh, there's a school that you're changing to. Maybe there's a change in job. It might be financial. It might be a sickness that you're facing. It could be losses that you've just incurred. It could be uh, job-related. It could be moving to a new city, moving to a new area. It could be moving to a new house. Um, relocating is, is really a time of transition. Another time of transition is when we lose someone close to us uh, through death or some other way. They're no, no longer in relationship with us. Then choosing a husband or a wife is a time of transition. Just growing older and the physical changes that we all go through as we, as we just grow older is a time of change. These are all transition moments. Moments that can be critical to our spiritual well-being. Choices that really make a decision for us as we make those choices about what our life is going to be. Uh, choices that have an, inf an impact on our lives literally forever. So it's no, uh, it's no surprise that during these times of transition, the, the enemy is going to be close by to try to distract us, to try to keep us from, from being successful in going through the, transi the, the transition and the change. But God is going to walk with us and God is going to help us. Just don't quit too soon. Don't give up. Because there is hope. There is hope in the Lord. Whenever there is hopelessness, there is hope in the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So, child of God, you can rejoice as we're waiting upon the Lord. Just fill your life with his word during this time. Fill your life with his presence. Fill your life with worship during this time. Find some, uh, some great worship music that you can use to worship the Lord with. Or just worship him in the privacy of your home. Make your own music to the Lord. Whatever you can do to draw closer to him during this time will be a choice that will be rewarded by the presence of the Lord in your lives. And then just putting the word of God in our hearts because the word is a foundation you can build on. And it will last. So when we, go, when we face these kinds of things, we face this kind of change, uh, we need to understand that 
Change doesn't require courage. Some folks say, if I was just courageous enough, yeah, I could go through a change if I just was courageous. And some folks say, I can't go through this change, and they're really afraid. They're very fearful. Well, change uh, uh, doesn't have to be in fearlessness. Change requires one thing, obedience. As we just say yes to the Lord, we follow the Lord Jesus Christ. We say, I'll make those changes that are necessary because it'll be for the betterment of my spirit, for the betterment of my family, and for the kingdom of God. I'm going to live in his presence. I'm going to live with his word in my life. There's a couple of scriptures, and one of those is over here in Hebrews. And he tells us, But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who believe and are saved. That's in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 39. We are not of those who shrink back, because he says in verse 38, If a man shrinks back, I will not be pleased with him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed. Verse 39, But of those who believe and are saved. And then chapter 11 starts the awesome faith chapter. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what is visible. Change. Change sometimes when you can't even see. You can't see what lies ahead, but yet God has already uh, promised us he would walk with us through, the, through those changes. And so it is that we face change in our, in our lives from time to time to time, and we look forward to God's using this as a time to transform us as we fill our lives with his presence. This Sunday... We're going to be bringing you another word from the Lord and, and some worship time in the, in the Spirit of the Lord. And so we look forward to that time. Until then, please know that we love you. We're praying for you each day. We're believing God to continue to send His Holy Spirit into your family and into your life and meet those needs. If you have needs you'd like prayer, you can list those out in the comments on the church page right underneath this video. And we'd be glad to join you in that prayer. Or you can send them in private message if you'd rather do that. We'll be glad to join with you in prayer. Pray for all of our church people and our families as God would bring them to your mind. And let's, uh, let's pray for one another and let Jesus Christ be glorified. And remember, uh, he makes all things new. That, that talks about a change that's going to happen. And so uh, just be thankful for, that God loves us enough that he brings change into our lives so that we can have a fresh wind of his spirit to blow through us and to blow through our lives and to reach others for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We love you. We look forward to seeing you again on Sunday. God bless.